Hi friends, my name is Claire and you stumbled upon porch coffee, so please stick around. Mm. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Wood Shed Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos a few times a week. Click the like and the share. Actually interacting with my videos really helps. So thank you so much for supporting me in that way. It's free, so that's cool. Good morning, friends. If you're new here, uh, I'm a late diagnosed autistic ladies. And I have coffee with you on Mondays because when you have autism, it can be hard to have friends. So I sit down and have coffee with you, talk about my week. You tell me about your week in the comments. There you go. Internet friends. Mug club update. Total items sold. Uh, we're at 94. That includes the imposter mugs that I put up last week. People thought that was a joke. It wasn't. So if you want to get a mug that looks like this, except it's printed, uh, you can get one of those at woodshedtheory.com. And also, somebody requested this to be turned into a sticker so they could DIY their own porch coffee mug and make a real imposter. Uh, so that is also up on the website right now. That might be a cheaper option for you if you don't have room for any more mugs, but you still want to be in the mug club. Just make your own mug with a vinyl sticker. I am so tired. I am so tired. The good news is we're at 94. Uh, technically, probably 93, right? Because I bought another bung to replace my broken one. But we're not gonna, I'm not gonna think about it that hard. I, I don't care. It's for fun, right? No pressure to buy a mug club mug at witchatheory.com. Uh, it's just fun. It helps support me and my small business and we get to drink out of the same mug every week. So that's cool. How was your week? Whew, it was a busy one, huh? If you didn't notice, I was super busy. I'm really trying to focus on uh, my Woodshed Theory business and also finding other forms of income. I'm trying to get serious about it because um, as you may or may not know, most autistic people are unemployed or underemployed. So I'm really trying to hustle and figure out a way to make a living that is peaceful to me, but also can help with my student loans. You know what I mean? I'm also trying to think of different ways to bring an income so that this can be my primary income job. You know what I mean? So. No pressure on the mugs. It's just something fun we do together. Speaking of things that are fun we do together, we have 115 more people-ish than last week, so I just wanted to say hello. Welcome to Woodshed Theory. Uh, welcome along for the ride. I've been at it for about two and a half years now. We just have the best, most amazing autism community here, and the porch coffee videos are like my chill video. It's the video where I just get to hang out with you. I look forward to it every week. I get to hang out with you and just talk to you about my week, how I'm feeling, what's going on. So I'm happy that you're here and I'm happy that you decided to subscribe. I hope you stick around. I try to respond to every single comment. Share with your families, uh, grandmas love me. So I've heard. Yeah, so how was your week? Mine was busy as I mentioned. I try to like work back, but I'm a little fuzzy. So last night we went to a friend's for a game night and dinner and it was a lot of fun. We played Balderdash. Have you ever played Balderdash? It's a game where you, it's a game where one person plays the judge and they pick a word off of a card. It's like a very obscure word that probably no one knows the definition of. And then everyone has to write out a definition to that word on a piece of paper and try and fool the other people 
in the room that that's the actual definition. The judge writes the actual definition down and puts it in the mix. And then he or she reads out the submissions and everyone in the room votes for the one that they think is correct. Uh, that's basically the gist of it. It's really funny because, yeah, sometimes the ideas people come up with are really funny. I've always liked that game. I needed this coffee so bad. Okay, I'm working backwards. So, um, Friday night. Let's talk about it. Guys, I'm a human, just like anybody, and mistakes were made. So, um, I got some wine this week at the grocery store. It was $3.50. It was on sale. Uh, well, see what happened was I was like, okay, great. That's cheap wine. Why not? I'll get some. I'll enjoy some. It's a weekend, you know, the weekend's coming up. So I bought this $3.50 wine, uncorked it. Surprise, surprise. It wasn't that great, but it was drinkable, which it, it's, it just surprised me because it said that it had won some awards, you know, on the label. Uh, so I had, I don't know, three glasses, give or take. There might have been a, an ounce or two in there otherwise. You know, I was feeling pretty good by the time I went to sleep. It felt fine. Well, it just felt nice. You know, I had a few glasses of wine. I watched reality TV, I think. Had a few glasses of wine. I made a hat or two for my next hat drop. And... I was having fun. So I went to bed and then two hours later I woke up so ill. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I was so ill. Luckily I didn't end up barfing or anything. And by the way, I'm not underage, so please don't worry about me. Please wait until you're old enough to drink. I'm super old. I woke up and I was like not feeling good. And I was like, I don't wanna lose my stomach contents. So I got out of bed from one to 3.30. I was on the couch drinking water, taking some acetaminophen, trying to survive. It was terrible. And then um, I went back to bed, but like trying to fall asleep was awful. So I was just trying to focus on like not barfing. Next day, hung over all day from this, this wine. And I'm still feeling not that great. So, whoa. I don't, I think it's just the cheap wine, right? Is it called tannins in the wine? There must have been a lot of tannins in this wine because I was ill. I was so ill. It was awful. I only had three glasses of wine, guys. I mean, that's enough to be like a little hungover in the morning, but it's not enough to be like, I think I want to die now. Sick in the middle of the night. So yeah, that was my Friday and Saturday experience. Yay! So yeah, I'm not feeling super great. I'm still feeling tired. I'm still feeling foggy. As I mentioned, other than that, that this week, I've been pumping out videos. Uh, I really would like to get back into making more videos. I feel mm, more mentally healthy and more mentally capable of doing so, so why not? Let's push a little. I've also been working really hard on my hats for my next hat drop, which will probably be the first or second weekend of September. Wait till you see how beautiful they're looking. The color palette is, well, it's my jam because I'm a fall girl. I grew up on the East Coast. I, I love fall colors. So if any, everything could be like fall in Boston, dark academia, life at, Cambridge. I mean, that's what I want. And that's kind of what this collection will be. So I am so excited to share it with you soon. The other thing that I've been doing, and I've been hesitating to tell you about this because I don't want you to think that I'm asking you to buy something all the time. So the other thing I've been working on is I opened another Etsy about a month ago and it's just selling t-shirts that I've designed and they're geared towards neurodiverse people and I'm proud to say so when I first made the store I made up um, 
I made up a pretty funny shirt. My friend loved it. So she purchased one. And then, you know, nothing for weeks. <laughs> Which is totally normal, okay? Like, I didn't advertise it. I... I mean, I'm, I am doing Etsy ads on it, I guess, but I, it wasn't like, guys, go look at this, right? So this week was the first week I sold two t-shirts to a place that, to a friend, to a person who wasn't my, me. <laughs> uh, so hopefully they're real orders and, you know, I just, I think it would be a great way to make some income and... If you want to check it out on Etsy, it's called Neurodiverse Store. That's the store name, Neurodiverse Store. Uh, right now there's a sale going on, 20% off the store until the 3rd or 4th of September. So maybe you want to check it out, see what kind of t-shirts designs. Um, do you have any like dream Neurodiverse t-shirt designs that you would love to see made? I love designing things and making people's visions come into focus. So if there was like a t-shirt idea that you want to share with me that I can start working on, that'd be cool too. So as I mentioned, I've been super busy. I've been doing that. Uh, t-shirts, hats, YouTube, YouTube shorts, and you know, attempting self-care and a clean home. Uh, my laundry has overtaken my entire bedroom again. So hopefully... Hi, Ernie. I love you. So hopefully, maybe this week I'll get that folded. But as you know, as, as a neurodiverse person, I struggle with balance. I've also still been struggling since the loss of my rabbit. I haven't been back to the rabbit enclosure since we buried Mr. Nick last week. Mr. Nick was my last rabbit and he had to be put down. Suddenly it was terrible. Um, I'm feeling okay about it until I think about it or I look back there or I go to th do something for the rabbits and realize that they're not there anymore. Um, so yeah, I think hopefully this week I'll feel good enough to go back there and kind of take stock of what I have and what I can donate and get rid of and, um, just be done with bunnies for a while. I dump them. They're so cute. I've already been talking for a long time and I feel like I haven't really gotten to anything. So my bad, I'm just exhausted. We're almost at a hundred, isn't that crazy? I never in my wildest dreams thought that that would happen. Almost a hundred mug clubs, 115 new people in one week. We're on our way to 9K, slowly, slowly. So I'm very pleased and happy with the results that I've been getting because I have been putting the work in. But also, thank you. If you're new here, if you're old here, you make this possible for me. And I know that I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm not like wealthy or in clothes that aren't pajamas, but you show up every week and watch this coffee with me and I don't know why, but thank you and I love it. It's the best. Is it not the best? I love reading your comments, everything. Yeah, I'd love to get your feedback though. If you could, um, Go to my new Etsy called Neurodiverse Store and look at the t-shirts. Tell me what you think. Not every design is going to be for every person, okay? There is a design that highlights um, autism and the use of Mary Jane. So that might not be for everybody. But I'm just having fun and being inclusive. So Neurodiverse Store on Etsy. This week, my goal is to really, 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 really try to do the video about my rainbow dress. I'm a little bit nervous because I have lost some weight. I hesitate to say that because there's like so many implications. Since I made the dress, I've lost weight. So it probably isn't gonna fit the same or look right, but I don't care. Um, I still need to make the video. Also, I have to make a video coming up for Halloween of the Halloween costume I made last year filmed me making it and then never made the video to go along with it. Uh, I'm just not in a place as a small creator where I could be like spending money on things like this and then not making the videos. I've found what happens when I do sewing projects, especially huge ones where I'm like making a costume. I struggle to get over the stress of making the costume 
and then also filming, uploading, taking pictures of myself in the outfit, all of these things. Like these people who do this online, I, I mean, I love to sew. I love being creative, as you know. It's like my lifeline. Um, those are, those videos are a lot of work. There's so much work and I get more interaction and more views on videos where I just sit down and talk to you. So they're worth it to me because I want to be able to do creative things. It's good for my soul. Um, I just get super tired and burnt out right after I make these things and then I just leave it. It's a character flaw of me. So my goal and I hope that you hold me to this, is that I get the video out about the spider web witch costume. It's so good, guys. And then the pride see-through rainbow dress with puffy sleeves. It is stunning. Stunning! What are you doing this week? How are you feeling? I know that some people have been ill, and I'm so sorry to hear that. Um... Sorry, I just glitched there for a second. Oh, I'm so tired. I probably will go back to bed, actually. The um, wine fiasco, the cheap wine fiasco, really kicked my butt. I'm not going to lie. And guys, like, I know that it's going to sound like, oh, you must have had, like, the whole bottle or something. No. This stuff was just poison. Poison. <laughs> this is terrible. So, 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 so sick. I was so out of it and sick. My body is like still processing. I have had all these liquids and watermelon and veggies, all these things trying to like get it out of my system. Yesterday for breakfast, I had a reduced fat mozzarella cheese stick and a piece of sourdough bread for breakfast, trying to like soak up any leftover alcohol. So that's how my life is going right now. In the comments, could you please tell me um, what do you think about autism and employment and like being self-employed what are good avenues i both want to be able to one make a living and to be an inspiration to other people because i thoroughly believe that autistic people can do anything and they can be just as successful as neurotypical people uh so like what do you do to make your living i'd love to know what are your plans for the upcoming week end of august we're moving into the fall season. Soon you'll be able to wear plaid and I'll be able to pick the pumpkins out of my garden. So it's very exciting. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Thank you for having porch coffee with me. Uh, be kind to yourself. You are worthy. You deserve good things. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.